up guys? I'm Manny. This is Hector. Guys, welcome to the ZTB podcast. If you guys know us from the Reefing channel, we're Zoa Tank Boys. And guys, we are super excited to launch this podcast. This has been a project that we have been wanting to do forever. Um, and we're super excited that we're kind of getting started. So, Hector, what, what do you think? I mean, it's definitely going to be a new journey for us. I feel like, you know, it's it's something we've talked about for quite a long time. And, you know, it's, it's kind of, it feels good that we're starting it. Like, we're getting started. So, so... You guys might be wondering, why are you guys doing this? I mean, you guys have a, a, a YouTube channel. We do a lot of reefing-related videos, adventures, um, and here's why. Guys, you would be surprised how many times me and this crazy guy have been just dying laughing, having conversations about crazy topics. We've actually been friends since high school, since we were 15 years old. So, guys, we're so excited just to bring you along on this journey. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people, they always tell us, you know, you should have got that on camera because that was hilarious. So we figured, you know, why not just have a series where we just we just talk to each other. We just debate on things and, you know, have different topics. So in this episode, um, this is un, like literally 100 percent unscripted. Um, we don't have an agenda. And the reason being is we want this to be super, super organic. Um, so if you don't know us, you know, we're big into the reefing hobby corals fish aquarium stuff hector has an aquarium i have a couple of them um but i think in this episode why don't we just start at the beginning kind of like the origins of how zoa tank boys kind of even started yeah, yeah. um how the hobby started and guys real quick um if you're new to our channel i don't want you to think that this whole um podcast is going to be about fish and corals always and Hector can kind of attest to this. So, what do you g give him a little sneak peek of kind of some of the stuff we're going to be talking about? I mean, we'll probably be talking about aliens. We'll probably be talking about uh, cryptozoology. Just a bunch of random things. Uh, we'll, we'll have some facts for you guys and stuff like that. I mean, just a bunch of interesting topics. Guys, I mean, like Hector said, we're going to be talking about UFOs, aliens, cryptozoology. We'll still be talking about reefing stuff here and there. Don't get yeah. us wrong. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. For the most part, it's just going to be a broad variety of different topics. And guys, leave comments. We'd love to engage with you guys. We're going to be talking about religions. We're going to be talking about politics. We're going to be talking about social events. I mean, literally, there is no topic that is off the table. And, um, and just to let you guys know, if you guys have any topics you want us to talk about, idea. by all means, comment, comment below. Let us comment know. Below. We may choose one of your topics, give you a shout out. Well, I mean, it's, it's good that you say that because um, in our YouTube videos, in every single episode, we give somebody a shout out. So we'll actually copy and paste your whole comment, post it on the screen because the reason why Zoa Tank Boys are Zoa Tank Boys is because you guys wanted to watch. Because if yeah. you didn't want to watch, um, it, it wouldn't be anything. Right, yeah. so um, we're super grateful for everybody. But yeah, man, yeah, it's definitely a hum humbling experience whenever we see comments or messages, you know, stating that you know we've helped somebody out in the reefing community, or you know, someone started a tank, a particular tank, because they've seen it on our, our ep one of our episodes. So you know, it wouldn't be Zoa Tank Boys without you guys. So by all means, you guys have any interests, any comments you want to throw out, just throw them out. That's what we're here for. And we're also gonna talk about crime. Ooh, crime horror stories. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, so where did it all start? Okay, so let's go back to um, when we first became friends. Okay, so what grade were we in? I think you were like a you were a sophomore in high school, not college. High school. Yeah, you were a sophomore in high school. I think you were like fifteen. I was about fifteen years old, and yeah. you were. I think I was a junior. I was. Um, I was. 16 turning 17 i think and guys for the record we hated each other when we first met there each other. was always a rivalry whether it was girls whether it was uh, abilities to do things skills we always had a rivalry to see who can do better than the other yeah i mean it was and i think it was mainly because we also had an additional friend so it was like kind of like the three musketeers yep, yep. and it was always kind of like with amongst the three of us there was always little clicks right yeah. which is why there was always kind of like, always a little bit of animosity, right? So it's kind of crazy that you and me ended up being best friends. I mean, pretty much family. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's crazy because um, 
we rode the same bus to school. We lived in almost the same area. We we worked the same job. I mean, we were pretty much around each other all the time. Yeah, so. I mean, we. I mean, just to go back in high school during the summers, we worked at McDonald's, mm-hmm. and we used to have. Um, if you ever worked in a fast food, the way they lay the sauces are with guns, with oh, sauce yeah. guns. We got in so many sauce gun fights. And again, we're, we're 15, 16 years old, that we would get in so much trouble, guys. Like so, our uniforms would get dirty. Oh, I mean, they would want to send us home because you, you can't really be seen in public. I mean, they would separate us. Literally, he would yeah. be the cashier. I would be making sandwiches and cooking nuggets in the back in high school. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we've been friends since high school. Now... For the original viewers, right? Let's go back. And if you're not, um, if you're not a reefer, and real quick, when we talk about reefers, we're not talking about you smoke ganja doobie, the, the MJ four twenty, none of that, right? Not that we're against it, but when we say reefers, it's people that are reef keepers, right? So that you keep corals, fish, you have uh, saltwater aquariums, and even for freshwater aqua- freshwater people, right? So if you're an aquarist. So, first I'll go back and talk about how I got into hobby. Yeah. Right? And then we'll transition a little bit more. So, I remember I had a good buddy of mine um, that I used to work with. He invited me to his house to hang out. And I didn't know anything about reefing um, at all, let alone fish tanks. And I remember when I walked in, he had a beautiful, beautiful um, 75-gallon Bowfront Aquarium. Now, for you guys that don't know what Bowfront is, it's pretty much a rounded... Um, aquarium, right? So it was like a, a half tank, but it was round. And I remember when I walked into his house, we're hanging out, and at the time he only had like a pair of clownfish, maybe a couple chromies, something super simple. But I remember when I first saw that, I was like, this is insane. Like, this is crazy um, how you can keep this in your house. And I remember literally asking, I was like, dude, this is awesome. And he said, do you want it? Literally, he, he said, dude, do you want it? I, I, I'm looking to sell it. And I said, of course I want it. And I literally bought it right there, and within a week I had it in my house. That's that's one thing you got to know about this guy. Literally, if he wants it, all impulses go out the door, and he figures it out on the spot. So so I ended up buying that aquarium. And at the time, if you remember, I, I had a property that I was flipping um, in, 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 in not too far from here. And it was a huge 35-square-foot house, had two living rooms. And I remember I put it in my main living room. At the time, I didn't even know about maintenance. So I had this company called The Fish Guys, which I believe they're still in service. If they are, shout out to The Fish Guys. But they were maintaining my tank. Mm-hmm. And I remember literally two weeks in to having this tank, they come in and say, Hey, Manny, uh, one of our customers has to move. And he's breaking down a 90-gallon aquarium. Do you want it? And I said, of course I want it. I've been two weeks in the hobby. And within two weeks, I had a 75-gallon in one living room. And I bought a 90-gallon in the other living room. You remember that? Yeah. And that's when it all started. I mean, I started buying corals. I started buying fish. I didn't know anything about it. I mean, you started buying corals the second time around because you didn't know anything about corals when you had fish keeping. No, I did. I had a little bit of coral. This was before... Um, I think this was before like the crazy fad of naming corals before... I mean, um, he didn't even know what a worldwide coral course. was. No, I remember yeah. they were just a little store on on one of our streets literally they were behind the pizzeria mm-hmm. on obt you remember mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. and i remember someone said these guys are the biggest coral vendors and i was like okay i, I didn't know anything about it right <laughs> um shout out to them they're awesome yeah they're great um, but yeah i started getting into reefing and then the property sold i was in vacation in greece and my realtor called me and said hey the property sold so i literally had to come home and sell everything within a week you remember that mm-hmm um, and that, and then I went a couple of years where about two, no, about a year. Well, no, you, Cause lived, I lived, in the, you lived in the apartment for, for a year. For a year. Yeah. yeah, about a year. It was about a year. And I remember I tr- I wanted to sneak an aquarium in there, but the apartment was on the 25th floor, so I couldn't. Mm-hmm. Um, but I remember vividly wanting to get an aquarium and then I bought the bungalow. So right now, um, we're filming this video. It, it's a hundred year old bungalow that I've refurbished, um, and I remember when I bought the house, I was sitting bored one day, and I said, wait a minute, I have a house now again. I can get back in the hobby. Mm-hmm. And it started with a six-gallon Petco Aquarium. You remember that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I took that six-gallon Petco Aquarium afterwards. So, of course, six gallons within a month. I bought the 30-gallon long uh, Innovative Marine, and then I started upgrading. But then, that's when I got you in the hobby. Yeah, so... 
um, basically I, I started living here for a little bit and um, he was really really big into the reef hobby and for me I didn't think I was gonna like it at all he didn't like, like I, I, I did not want to even try it it was just too much maintenance I see what he had to go through so he gave me the six gallon Let, let's be real I had a force you. yeah he forced me he forced me he literally took me one day to go to the I think it was a top shelf or was it uh, what about it was one of the two. It was. It, it was, was one of the LFS. It might have been Petco. No, no, we, we went to Worldwide Coral. Worldwide Coral. So we went to Worldwide Coral. He, like, like he, he even got the sand for I me. I said, dude, got, you're getting in the hobby. 100%. He basically he got everything for me, and then um, I said, you have no excuse. Here's the water. Here's the sand. Here's the rock. You're in the hobby. I tried it, and uh, first off, disclaimer: if you're new into the hobby, don't get a six gallon. Try try to get a larger tank. He went off. literally with the hardest, the hardest aquarium style that you could ever do. I mean, like when I say yeah. when I say it took, I mean to see any progress in my tank, it took almost six months, and I was in and out. Like I, I was mostly out. He was the one that kept checking up on on the tank with me, telling me what I need to do and stuff like that. And I was just like, listen, I don't even think this is for me. But once I saw. How things started budding, things started growing. I started a whole ecosystem. Everybody had a job. I was like, wow, this is crazy. This is interesting. Like, I feel like this is a... The, the, I don't know if you guys have ever played The Sims. I feel like this is the real-life version of The Sims. I, you know, you, you have all these different uh, creatures in one tank, and everybody everybody has a specific job. And in, you, you're, you're planting, in a sense, right? You're, you're fra you got your frags that start to grow out. And you're like, wow, this is crazy. And now you're starting to see the fruits of your labor. And I'm like, wow, I think I'm going to need a bigger tank because this is crazy. I love this. All right, all right, all right. So you see me laughing. Yeah. You know why I'm laughing. Why? You know what I'm going to say next, right? Okay. <laughs> so right in front of me, there's a set of stairs oh my going gosh. up. Let me tell you, if you guys Stop. can see these stairs, these stairs are the steepest stairs ever. Yeah, They're like listen. four inches tall. Listen, so one day he tells me that he, I think you were getting... You were getting the bio cube. So he was upgrading from a six gallon to a 14. 14 gallon. And he told me, hey, you got to help me bring this six gallon down. Now, mind you guys, if you've never brought that in an aquarium with rock and water, even six pounds is probably like uh, about 50, 60 pounds, right? Once you allocate the weight of the water, the rock, everything. So I work from home. My office is over here on the other side of the house. All of a sudden, I hear. A big do, 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 do. slam. I hear glass everywhere. I hear everything. Hector starts yelling, and he fell down the stairs with the aquarium. And it gets even better. He blamed me for it. Okay. Whose fault so, was it? So, I stated that I needed help. These stairs are steep as anything. And it, it wasn't really the weight of the tank itself. It was more so that one of those stairs kind of tilt forward when you step on it. It's an old house. So, I... I, I kind of misjudged the step and I just slid down and as I slide down the the tank rolls out, out of my, my hands. The details. I literally I waited for him for the longest so before I started to do it and he never came so I was like okay well let me just do it. Had he have helped I probably wouldn't have fell. So, he's, so, who's, so he was blaming me the whole time and here's the best part of it all. He's injured. He's hurt. I look over he had a little scratch on his leg on his shin Yelling the corner and of the tank, the, the corner of the tank dug into my my. It shit. was rounded edges. There were no corners. It doesn't matter when it falls. The the, the gravity. It, Guys, real quick, heavy. leave a comment below. Let everybody know. Was it my fault that he fell? When I was not even there, or was it his fault? Shouldn't he have been a good friend. Please. All Please. right, so. Fast forward a couple years, guys. We've been on YouTube roughly about two years. Um, we love posting content for y'all. Hector, if you could give your the the reefers and we're gonna guys we're gonna have topics where we're gonna go really really deep into this but this is a super high level one piece of advice for somebody who is listening right now who doesn't have a reef tank and guys i would encourage you go look through our channel we have every type of videos regarding aquarium and, and see what you think see if you know if you like the corals if you like the fish because honestly to me i didn't even know these things existed until i went to my buddy's house and i saw it but if you could give these people one piece of advice, what would you give them? Um, I'd say do your research. I mean, like, like our channel, there are many other channels that teach people how to uh, put corals in certain places, cor coral placement or um, the chemistry of having a saltwater aquarium. Um, see if it's for you. Because you don't, what you don't want to do is you don't want to get into the hobby because you see all these beautiful colors and corals and you want to have a piece of the ocean in your house. And... 
you know, you're having a miserable time doing it, spending all this money. Because it's, it's, it, it can be very expensive. So with that, say that again. Yeah. With that being said, I would say just do your research and see if this is something that you can keep on top of. Because I can tell you right now, I don't keep on top of it as, as well as I should. This guy tries to stay immaculate. Like every day, at least three times a day, he's on his tank. Whereas me, it's like once a day, once every other day, once every other other day. So definitely do your research. See if this is something that you can see yourself doing on a daily basis. Because it is something that you have to be consistent on. All right. So your, your advice is do your research before getting in the hobby. Yeah. Okay. And and you and you probably would even agree that even once you're in the hobby, you're always learning, right? You're always oh, yeah. researching, oh, yeah. researching, There's researching. There's always something new. I mean, we're we're not the experts by any means we're still by, learning by no means we we are learning we're growing you know but there's every day there's always something that you learn about whether you're going through it because having a tank is like having a puzzle right every day there's always something that happens that you have to figure out a great analogy how to fix because if not that's that's the future of your tank so you know you're you're learning every single day you're learning about your tank you're learning about different things when you watch videos you know it's it's pretty cool because you know Every day it gets more interesting and more interesting. All right, that's I'm not trying to be funny, but I'm, that's impressive. That's, that's you, great you, advice. You I didn't expect say that. Right? I didn't see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, a puzzle. Yeah. That's very um, artistic. Very, I'm you know, very, very good. Person. All right, so here's my piece of advice. One word: patience. Have patience. You will notice um, when you see these aquariums online. You will fall in love with the aquarium that's been up for two, three, four, five years. Mm -hmm. You will never fall in love with an aquarium that's been up for five minutes, mm -hmm. for a month. Never. That's good. Right? Um, so remember, there's an ugly face. There's a hideous face. After everything is when it comes good. And when we say patience, when I say patience, I'm not necessarily just talking about your chemistry. I'm not necessarily talking about just your tank. Have patience with your tank and yourself yeah. because you are learning as you go. Yeah, because one thing I can say is you can get very frustrated whenever you think you've solved an issue and nothing happens. Um, you know, it takes patience, it takes time. But then on top of that, like you said, you know, sometimes a cycling period, you're going to go through that ugly phase. So you want to you want to just be patient about it because eventually you're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah, so that would be, I, I guess, two really good um, spots, right? So... Patience, do your research. Now, enough about reef keeping, enough about that. Um, guys, we're super weird. Like, we're, we're like, well, can I say weird? I, I don't know about you, man, but and I, and I know you do, actually. I take that back. I over research things to a flaw, right? Like, I've been researching Zeta Reticuli for the past six months for all the weird alien people. Zeta Reticuli is a galaxy in the middle of nowhere, right? Where apparently all the aliens live. So, we're going to talk about all this crazy stuff. We're going to talk about religion. We're going to talk about things that we have experienced, weird things that you and me have experienced. Oh, yeah. We, um, Guys, call us crazy. I don't care. We've had experiences with angels, guardian angels. We've had experiences with aliens. We've had experiences with ghosts. Um, ghosts. I mean, you, you got to think about it. If a person is buying a, a hundred year old house, stop. We're not doing that in this house. There's nothing if a in this person house. Buys a hundred year old no, house. No, we're not doing that in this house. You got to be a little house. interested in ghosts. Listen, more of the story, guys. As we have so many topics that we're super excited to share with you all about, um, but this episode is literally just bringing you in to Zoa Tank Boys, ZTB Manny Hector. This 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 podcast is gonna be more than just corals and fish and reef related. It's now, gonna have a lot. Now, just to let you know, if you guys are more into the coral reef related videos that we do, we're still gonna be throwing that out throughout the week either way. Yeah, Zoetank Bush is not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, of course. So this is more just like an extra and little tip, tip, tidbit. Yeah, basically, you know, just to just to sprinkle on a little more of our personality and stuff like that, like like who we are, individuals, what we like to like, and see if you know you guys enjoy those different topics too. Yeah, and just to let you guys know, like, we work super hard for our channel. Like, we both have other stuff that we do. So, oh, yeah. for us, um, when I'm not traveling for work, I'm filming, I'm editing, and now we're doing this podcast just because we really, really like the reefing community mm -hmm. and everybody who supports us all the tank boys. But, um, but yeah, anything else you want to tell everybody, dude? Um, I would just say, you know, I appreciate you guys sticking with us first off. And, I mean, it's going to be a crazy ride. We're going to have a lot of fun. 
a lot of crazy topics. And, you know, we're also going to integrate you guys into it, too. Hey, comment. we forgot to say that. We're going to talk about wrestling, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, for we're, all we're the nerds, wrestling. we're going to talk about wrestling, classic wrestling, new wrestling, WWE, AEW, old school, you name it, golden era, attitude era. We're going deep. And deep. then we're, we're also going to be potentially bringing in people, too, to talk about yeah. different topics oh, yeah. as well. Oh, yeah. So, it's not just going to be us on camera. It's also going to be... A few other people. I mean, who knows? If you guys are in the area and you guys got some things you want to talk about, I mean, who knows? We may bring one of you guys on. Yeah, we're based out of Florida, Central Florida. So, I mean, having people on is going to be something that we're going to be actively doing just because we love to get other people's points of view. Yeah, we, we definitely love to hear other people's opinions and stuff like that. And just like you guys who are in the reefing hobby, you guys know that there are a lot of opinions to do certain things. And, you know, it's all a learning process, right? So maybe their opinion works best on something that I've had trouble with. And now now I know I can use that. You know, so we're, we're definitely big on growing and, and, and listening to other people and, and what their thought views are. Yeah, so... We're going to end this video just like we end all of our other video, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and let us know that you like what you're seeing. Zoa Tank Boys, Hector, Manny, we're going to put your comment right here because one of y'all did leave a comment in one of our old ones. Till next time, Zoa Tank, Tank Boys out. out.